Yo, 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 everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we are watching the top 10 dumbest criminals of all time. Now, if you think I'm doing this alone, think again. I am joined here with Toby. Well, what's good, guys? How you doing? I'm joined here with Toby. How are you doing today, man? Tired, to be honest, but ready to do a video. Let's get it. Let's get it. Also, Ronan is in this party, but he doesn't know how to get his priorities straight, so he's in Minecraft instead of you know, helping with the video, so screw you, Ronan. Oh, <laughs> uh, he's muted himself. Up. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that. He's made an appearance. That's all you're hearing. <laughs> that, now that's his cameo done for the video. Thanks for the title, Ronan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here is the top 10 dumbest criminals of all time. Let's get with it. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. If only these crooks could have stolen somebody else's brain. You morons. You're running around in ski masks trying to blow things up? What did you think was going to happen? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 dumbest criminals. In Florida, a man has been sentenced to 15 years in prison for violating his probation by trying to break into the Brevard County Jail. Wait. For this list, we're looking at <laughs> attempting to commit a crime. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Number 10, Dennis Hopkins. Hang on. Wait. Why would you try and break into a county jail? <laughs> Hang on. He got out on probation, so he's like, eh, why not? Let's break on into the prison. Uh -oh. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to offend any Americans here, but this is a, only happen in the US. <laughs> like, it, it's it, uh, only in Florida as well. It just it doesn't make sense. Like no, you're nearly free. Why are you gonna break your? I don't know. What was it? Probation. Probation. Oh, I actually I it, give it, up. It's like it's like hearing the Florida man trying to wrestle an alligator. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you not seen it? No, I haven't. I have uh, not. No, uh, many Florida men try and wrestle alligators to prove themselves worthy of some woman's attention. Surely that goes horribly wrong for the man. Some are lucky. <laughs> <laughs> what? Some of them have quicker legs than, a, than an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, not today, champ. <laughs> or that, uh, or um, actually managed to stay on top of the alligator. No <laughs> That's mad. All right, let's, let's continue with this. I've, I've lost brain cells already, and we're 50 seconds in. Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal here. Wearing a disguise is great for concealing one's identity if one is going to commit a crime. I need everybody's blackberries. Everybody on the oh, Come on, find your blackberries up front. Someone should have told Dennis Hawkins that in order for a disguise to work, however, it has to be somewhat believable. Hawkins apparently missed that. I'm done. He attempted I'm actually, I'm to done. rob a bank wearing clown pants with a pair of fake breasts and a blonde wig. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that kid's got me. <laughs> what? Not only did he fail to cover his face, which still had a goatee and mustache, but the disguise also attracted attention, and the police easily oh. apprehended him. What? Stupid. She ain't gonna be looking for army guys. Number nine, Daniel Glenn. I need you to arrest me. It's important to be prepared, especially if you're going to rob a store. It is possible to be too prepared, though, oh, which is no. exactly what happened to Daniel Glenn, who inexplicably dis... Prediction. What goes... Oh, wait, there's subtitles. This is why I don't have subtitles on my videos, Toby. I was literally... I was going to say predictions just to what happens. What goes wrong for this man? You know you can turn them off, right, next to the little options button. Oh. All right, now the subtitles are gone, Toby. Prediction. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> I'll, I'll, don't even go there. Just play the video. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll right, shut up. Decided to call ahead to ask the store how much cash was in the register. Imagine how that conversation went. Hello, I'd like to place a takeout order for all the money. Can I get fries with that? Confused and slightly alarmed, the store owner immediately called the police, who arrested Glenn on his way to the store. You're under arrest. You, gotta be, you, gotta be you have to be an idiot. 
You actually have to be an idiot. I'm sorry, but that scene describes it perfectly. How many deodorant cans do you oh, have thrown away? Bloody ad. Called the police, who apprehended Bailey immediately. Loaded gun. Oh, I've seen that movie. Pussies on the pavement, fellas. Come on. That movie's funny. Number Love Jack Black. Christian Bala. That wasn't Jack Black. Was being presented as a no. famous No, that was not Jack Black. Hang on. I swear it was. Nah. That's not Jack Black. Oh no, he's, he's skinny. That's, um... I know who he is, yeah. Oh, I can't think of his name. It's the dude from 21 Jump Street. He's, oh, he's actually so funny in that film. And, The bit um, where uh, the chief finds out he's banging his daughter. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, and then Channing Tatum gets up and just goes... Yeah. Ah! That's so yeah. <laughs> and then the guy on the right is the guy from Scott Pilgrim Saves the... Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and I can't think of his oh, name. Oh, yeah, yes. That's a good film, that. I cannot uh, think of his name. Comment section. Let me know his name down below. Do it. I'm counting on you. Let us know both of them. Oh, it's not Jason Statham. It's not, no, it's not <laughs> Jason Statham. <laughs> yeah, there's too much air on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, continuing. Oh, I can't think of his name. It's going to annoy me. Immediately. Intellectual, maniac, and murderer. To commit a crime, nice. you have to be slightly arrogant. If you get away with the crime, this arrogance can increase to the point where you feel untouchable. After murdering Darius Janiszewski in 2000, Polish author Christian Bala wrote a novel titled Amok, which featured an eerily similar murder and details of the case only the murderer himself could have been privy to. Police uncovered clues relating to the murder, most of which came from the novel, eventually arresting and charging Bala. To their shock, they discovered on his computers plans to kill another person to tie in with the next novel he was planning to write. He must be, I don't know, well, an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, pause it. <laughs> this guy must have been an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> the, t using like live action in novels yeah good idea but maybe not for murder m novels you know I'm just shocked people read it it's the 21st century <laughs> well <laughs> yeah anything can happen let's be honest if it was a movie people would understand it a lot more <laughs> <laughs> what are you expecting to make a movie out of some woman's dead moving body okay well, well yeah I did <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, moving on swiftly. <laughs> Wait, why is it moving? She's dead. No, because... Okay, just, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> uh, this is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Buying drugs is an art, because you don't have the option to exchange or refund your purchase if you don't like the product you get. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine that? One what? Uh, one, one rock of one crack. crack. A crack rock. Apparently no one told this to Eloise Reeves, who had the gall to go to the police to complain about the quality of the crack cocaine she had just bought. She reportedly pulled the crack rock from her mouth and placed it on the cop car for the deputy to inspect. She was charged with the possession of cocaine oh, and fined oh, roughly $1,500. Oh, She'll oh, fine as well. Holding what? You have any money? Mm -hmm. Please. Oh. oh. Um. I just need a little bit of money. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm, I'm waiting for him Number to do five, that. Number five, Jonathan Ochola, uh... Mosley. So we know you're not supposed to bring a knife to a gunfight, but what about a baseball bat? <laughs> this is exactly Sorry. what Derek Mosley did as he tried what? to rob a gun shop and steal a firearm equipped only with a baseball bat and knife. Straight <laughs> clear into the hearts of the wicked with this thing. Look at this. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't use a gun. Of course, the manager pulled out his own gun you and what? held Mosley until what? the police arrived. Gone. Do you want to go to the US on a just on, on some trip and we'll go to like a couple of shooting ranges? Film a video. Yeah? Alright, alright. Guys. US US vlog trip? Alright. Two I need I need like a good range. 2,000 likes, and oh, I will go to the USA. Uh, to a bit more, okay. 200,000 likes, and I will a go. A little bit less. 199,000 likes. No, no, Ted, we'll do, we'll do 50k. 
50,000 50, likes on this video and I'll go to the USA and do what he just said. I can't remember what he said, but I'll, I'll do what he said. We'll go to some shooting ranges and do some fucked up shit. <laughs> so you know what you've got to do? If you want to see that, hit that like button down below. Do it, boys and girls. Do it if you want to see it. Security number two. Might as well have. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That is brilliant. That is actually okay. I. <laughs> I respect the hustle. Do you get that? <laughs> <laughs> he tried to cash a three hundred and sixty billion pound check like that. Oh no! He's an idiot. He's an absolute idiot. I respect it, but he's an idiot. Uh, yeah, I, res I respect him for trying, but at least work on your <laughs> literacy skills and your handwriting. Wait, oh, one, wait, three, six, oh no, it is billion, okay. That, that, <laughs> How oh, do you have to check? Well, because you never know. That that does not look like a six, though. That does not look like a six. Uh, no, it doesn't. It looks like a pair of devil horns. <laughs> oh. Number one, unnamed moron. <laughs> Committing a crime is a Sorry, we're seeing this again. We <laughs> should do that again. Yeah. Number one, unnamed moron. Ninety-six fifty-nine. Did you hear the little? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh, this is brilliant. Uh, I beg someone clips one, that. Unnamed next moron. Next time, okay. <laughs> Committing a crime is a special endeavor, that. and yeah, mistakes you got a job. do happen. If oh. there's one thing all robbers should remember, however, it's that your gun is your most valuable asset. Oh, this no. particular robber seemed to forget that fact, as he attempted to rob the Halifax Bank in London. Hey, what the hell? Put the money in the bag. Demanding the teller fill the bag with money, he accidentally gave his gun to the teller instead of the bag. After a brief moment of confusion, the bank worker retreated, forcing the robber to flee. At least he managed to escape with a bank employee's bicycle, and so we still don't know his name. If you don't come out of there, I'm gonna have to drag you out. Oh yes. You can try. Good old big bank theory. I can't believe I stopped making so now. Do you agree with our list? I know, it's What mad, other criminals isn't it? bring new meaning to the phrase thick as thieves? For more exciting top tens published every day, be sure to Wow, that is absolutely crazy. <laughs> what do you have to say to that, Toby? I have one brain cell left in my body. <laughs> is that one more uh, than you started with? <laughs> <laughs> no. That is... Uh, honestly, I, I knew there were some dumb people in the world, but handing your gun instead of the money bag... <laughs> <laughs> oh no it's a little bit outrageous that one isn't it it's a little bit outrageous it actually hurts my brain <laughs> oh no oh. alright if anyone wants to be a robber don't do any of these things <laughs> do you reckon actually yeah thinking about that do you think anyone's ever watched these videos and been like right this is how not to do it let's make a list I'm pretty sure someone has done it like, Some... It wouldn't surprise me at all. Someone has got to it, surely. Like, surely. Yeah, no, it doesn't surprise me. <sighs> Bananas. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Remember, 50,000 likes and myself, Toby, and probably Ronan, if we can be asked to drag him out. Or if he's still on Minecraft, he might still be on Minecraft by then. We'll go to America and use a shooting range and shoot some targets with the poo poo guns. 50,000 likes and we'll go ahead and do that. Anyway, it's been your boy Spouse back out with a brand new video. Thank you very much Toby for joining me in today's video. Hey, it's been fun, man. And I'll see you all Always in the next fun. one. Peace. Out. Bye.